Hey there, Shabbat owners. Josh Moore here. And some of you have known the wiki has been done a couple times, and it keeps getting referred back to having a Japanese engine in it, and nobody seems to be able to keep that anchored on the wiki. So I would like to put that rumor to bed, finally. Uh, several of us have actually known this for a really long time, and it's hard to get anybody to listen, so now we have a little bit more definitive proof. Um, directly from the engineers, as a matter of fact. Uh, there is, um, I'd say it's time to go ahead and get through the miss, miss, uh, what am I thinking? Well, you know, the rumors and uh, the mistakes that people keep making when referring to the engines on these. Now, what I need from you guys out there in the general public uh, is a little help on some research here. So I can actually put together a comprehensive list of engines uh, that have been listed for this thing over the years. Uh, I need pictures of said engines. So specifically like, what is it, the G140 and the G161Z, uh, two of which I don't even think ever came to the United States, let alone in the Chevette. So uh, I, I need information on those as much as I possibly can get uh, and from those people that actually have those engines. Uh, some pictures of those engines, casting numbers and things like that, if possible. Uh, yeah, so we can start, like, tracing a lineage of engines and uh, where they came from for each individual T-body. But specifically for the U.S. one, uh, which seems to have the most confusion. Part of this has just been from lost information, I'm, I'm assuming, over the years. And we did, in fact, get an Isuzu engine in these cars for the domestic Peabody, uh, but it was just the 1.8 Isuzu diesel. It wasn't It wasn't the gasoline engines. Um, let's see, the imported T-bodies, however, the ones that we got as imports, uh, those did come with Isuzu engines in them, but they were the, uh, the G180 and G200 series engines. So little bit different there too as well um, at any rate I've gone through pretty much everything I have and even car and driver back in 76 refers to this as being an engine from Brazil uh, the whole car being heavily borrowed from Brazil and if you guys can speak Portuguese or want to take the time to translate this book I highly recommend you get it this has a lot of the information directly from the engineers that were part of Project 909. Uh, and it explains everything Opel had to do with the development of this engine, uh, as well as this car. So, there's a... I, I, have, yet to, I have yet to really go through this and uh, translate a bunch of it, but I've been reading it slowly here and there. And, you know, if nothing else, it's a good conversation book. Throw it on your copy table, even if you don't read it. But there's a ton of information on the Chevette project in here uh, that pertains to the U.S. model Chevette. The common confusion is, again, that this is an Isuzu engine. And in reality, I don't know if you guys... not Probably not everybody has seen my video on the bell housings. But I have ordered a bell housing previously for uh, my family to... Opal four-cylinder, and the bell housing pattern is quite literally a mirror image, right down to bolts, locations, and everything. It's a mirror image of the Chevette, and part of that is because the family two engine group that Opal came up with came right from these engines right here. That, uh, that is directly off of Opel's paperwork. Uh, they took a lot of what they learned on this particular engine and they translated it to the Family 2 engines. So, uh, not only was there things on it moved around for front wheel drive applications, because that's really what the Family 2 engines were going for, um, like starter locations, which would be why the bell housing pattern flipped. 
uh, and then of course the engine intake and exhaust flipped side to side. However, the head design stayed the same, but the ports grew in diameter and they got raised. Uh, they also decided to use uh, aluminum for the cylinder head instead of just the cam carrier. I have in my possession over here something else I'm sure some of you have seen. Uh, a turbo 2 liter, which is my family 2 engine, over here. And I have intent of pulling this engine apart here shortly, as soon as I have Scooter out of here. This engine's coming out, going on the stand, and the head's coming off of it. And I'm going to start going over uh, the similarities between the Family 2 engine and the Chevette directly. And part of that is going to include information I get from you guys. So anybody that has anything pertaining to the domestic North American and South American Chevettes and the 909 project and any of the Opal engineering stuff that went into the original four-cylinder for the Brazilian car and then the North American only car, uh, that would be greatly appreciated. And then again, any information on the other engines that... Uh, specifically like what the wiki has been putting on there, uh, or whoever has been putting that on the wiki, uh, the G140 and G161Z engines, uh, which are vastly different. So if you guys could help me out with that, that would be great. Um, you can also email me at tbodygarage at gmail.com, as well as hitting me up in comments below anywhere this is posted. Again, thank you. My name is Josh Moore. Uh, this is T-Body Performance, and I hope to, uh, well, I hope to get some of these mists put in the dirt and then on some more of my uh, T-Body Performance stuff, and maybe a little bit more history here very soon.